Hi and welcome back to my channel at Oso Victoria where I'm a part-time seller on Etsy, Poshmark, and eBay and I'm going to show you, I'm going to actually do a haul. It's a long <laughs> overdue haul. So I have several items here, many, many, many items here from different hauls and some I'm pulling out of my house, my own personal stuff I no longer wear and stuff. So uh, a few items from the bins and some items that a friend gave me to sell for her not to sell for her she gave me but there's two there's these two coats that she gave to kind of split the profits on and then the rest of the stuff she just gave to me so i'm not sure i'm going to get all this done in like one video otherwise it might be too long so i'm going to start with some of it and then i will if i feel it's getting too long then i'll stop and do like a part two <laughs> so this could be a part one okay so i think i'll start with the bin stuff it was mostly a lot of plush um, then there was a couple of bags, like a computer bag I'm keeping and a, and a Burton backpack that is kind of a lower end backpack that I'm also keeping. Because uh, I tried to gather all this stuff together because I kind of had it spread out because I was going to where I was in the process of listing it. So just from the bins, I just got this little country hang up doll, um, country angel. These were really popular in the 80s. So home sweet home. See this this style was pretty popular in the 80s. Like she could hang or sit on a shelf, however you want to display her. So anyway, I thought it was cute for the little country look that may come back again <laughs> eventually. So anyway, that was just a bin spine. And then this is a vintage teddy bear. Um, pretty old. It has a feel it's got a rubber face it has a feel from the 40s or 50s at least it's one of those little teddy bears that you hug and drag around and stuff um anyway i thought that was a cute little vintage stuffy plushy and and this is just a little christmas duck uh nici um is it made in korea so just a little christmas plushie there's some on ebay but they're a little bit different than this i think i may have seen one so some of this the um vintage teddy bear will uh, list for a lot more but something like this once i do the comps you know it could be eight to twelve dollars fifteen dollars depending on what the comps are it could be anywhere from five dollars to twenty five dollars depending on what the comps because it's just some some kind of yeah. semi -comp. These two little, whatever they are, <laughs> plushies. I think, I think they have these also on eBay. But I'm gonna lock these together. Chester, oh Monts, Monts Taz, and Spike, Monts, Monts Taz. But they're kind of cute little guys. Lock these two squishies together. Not squishies though, together. And then this guy is pretty common. That's Rick of Mo and Morty, um, plushie. He needs a little bit of cleaning. So I don't know what to list him for. I did look at the comps on all these, but obviously I have forgotten. This is called Sugarloaf. Um, I think there was one similar to her. I don't have the date on her, but she's in her little bikini and hat. Um, I sold it in the store for $2.99, but I got this at the bins. I think I paid I had my receipt with me. I think by the time I checked out because of the bags and some of the other things I got that I don't know where I put them now, um, paid 99 cents a pound. And so I think the total price of everything I got was $12 because I got the backpack and the um, computer case. I might have got a few other things that I can't remember because I put them away because I got them for personal use, whatever. And then there was these little folk folk mayonnaise puppets oh i guess they are finger puppets you could stick your fingers down in there and they got a little magnetic nose um i can't remember how much i saw the comps for those on and this is just a matty mouse rattle kids rattle um blade and rose cartoons i'm not familiar with the cartoons these days my favorite cartoon was Winnie the Pooh. Um, that's what I had my kids watch a lot of. Well, we didn't have 
We had a TV, but we can only watch uh, VHSs because we didn't have cable and we we're out in the country. And so we didn't get any channels. So if you wanted to watch something on TV, you had to put in a VHS movie. It's sort of right around the time, right before CDs came out um, when I was raising my kids in the 80s. So, and this, I did see one of these, Creamies. I think Creamies is a dairy farm. I did look it up and I did see one. Uh, Princess Soft Toys. Um, can't remember how much I got this for. 20 bucks. I don't know if even that. I don't even know. And this, I think, didn't come for much at all. This is just a Gans. Um, what is this dog? W on foot. I don't know what the dog is. A setter. Irish setter. It says so. It's an Irish setter. Yeah. So there's quite a few of these. And this is a Build-A-Bear. Build-A-Bear. There might have been a few of these also. This is from 2017. Just a pink Build-A-Bear bear. No clothes. Soft though. Very soft. Okay, so let me move on to that. So that was from the bins. And then I'll move on to what my neighbor or what my daughter's friends gave me in a yard sale. In her yard sale. Her leftover stuff from the yard sale. And so, or what she told me I could just take and sell. So this is a dog vest. I don't think it has a brand or anything. Yes, it does. Anyway, it's Hotel Doggy. Hotel Doggy! Um, so that's been washed. And she did a lot of cosplay and costumes. So she had this apron. It's like a Minnie Mouse. Maybe somebody dressed up as Minnie Mouse or something. So I grabbed that. I had this dress. This is, uh, I have sold LA Soul stuff before because I bought them at the boutique here during a sale and stuff. Um, so she had this one and it's got dogs. She said she was tired of wearing dogs. <laughs> so I got this little fit and flare dress. So it's another like $25, $20 dress. And let's see, she had this prom dress. This, this was her high school prom dress. I think it's a 1001 Nights for that. And then she had this dress. I think this could have been worn as a bridesmaid. It had, a, or I don't know what she wore it for. Had a little, has a little clutch that matches it too. So I have that dress, and then she had. I grabbed this is a jacket. It's called C Sorno, and I got just a regular jacket, regular comps on that, which could be twenty bucks or so. And this American rag flannel shirt, same thing. These two jackets that she wants to split the cost in, I think they sell, but uh, this is the 1960s vintage green satin. Look at the sleeves on that, gorgeous. But what they had done is they cut the bottom of the lining and then hemmed this all up kind of crazy like and so I took all that down and so before I sell it what I'm going to do is I'm going to like extend the lining down again with some uh, acetate fabric I have for the lining and then redo it and fix it up before I sell it it's like an evening coat um, so anyway it's a very nice full swing evening coat and then she had this one. This, this is a Oscar de la Renta, but I wasn't sure that was the original tag until I looked on first dibs and they have the exact same coat for $1,500. So I might sell this for a thousand or so, twelve hundred. I don't know, but it needs some repair. There's the lining underneath the sleeve the armhole and then inside needs to be stitched up and then the tag needs to be restitched. So I'm glad she kept the tag to this. So these coats were given to her by her aunt 
who probably went vintage shopping and found them in a thrift store or yard sale or somewhere and like the green coat they use for costumes and I don't know if they use this one for cost whoops, costumes or not or just wore it so anyway it was nice to be able to find the exact same coat on first dibs which is a website curated high-end designer fashions so anyway that'll be nice once I get that might take me a long time to get that while I do everything else uh, fixed and listed goes on Poshmark okay so we were down in Eureka Yreka which is about 40 miles 50 miles south of where I live it's in California I'm almost right at the California border here in southern Oregon and we actually went that way and I'll have to do a video on our travels that's, that's, that would be on another playlist called something in Southern Oregon or something. I know adventures in Southern Oregon. I don't know. I have another playlist that just does all my travel stuff, but it's all on the same YouTube channel. So you'll get all notifications. If you sign up, you hit notifications and hit the bell. Um, you'll get notifications of everything, but you, you know, you could decide if you wanted to see the what sold playlist or the haul playlist or the, the adventure playlist, I guess, are pretty much the main things I like to post here on YouTube. I do some private things, but nobody could see those, but my family, me and my family. Okay, so um, anyway, we, my husband wanted to go see the Buddhist temple that was up on the other side of Mount Ashland, although we knew it was closed, so we drove out there, and as you go down this, once you head up to Mount Ashland, where there's a ski resort up there, and my daughter lives up in that area, when we head down into the valley, that's a long drive because <laughs> it's all gravel road and so it's a long drive and so we got there and of course we knew the Buddhist temple was closed but we got to see it from afar um, it's, it's closed I think because of COVID and then sometimes they they close for uh, their personal events and stuff but instead of going coming back down towards Oregon we kept going and it didn't take us very long to get into California and that road and Hilt is the next town over the border from where I live anyway so we drove up through Hilt and then we said oh let's go see Montague because Montague is a little town in Northern California that we've never been to, but you always see the sign driving on the I-5 on the freeway, so we thought, okay, we'll check it out. And one of his really good friends said, why do you want to go to Montague? There's nothing in Montague. I was like, well, that's the reason to go, <laughs> to go see what's there. So we did go to Montague. I'll get all, all those videos up. And um, walked around, played Pokemon, did that, and then since it's right east of Wairika, um, we decided to go into Wairika and do a little thrift store shopping. So that was on a Saturday, I believe. So we went to, I believe it's the Humane Society uh, thrift store. Went to another thrift store. Maybe that was Humane Society. Anyway, went went to two thrift stores. There's nothing at the one because they're kind of overpriced. And so we went to the other one, which is one of my, also one of my favorite thrift stores down in Wairika. Um, it, great stuff. I mean, stuff I'm not going to show you because uh, I sent it off to my granddaughter. was a bag a quart size bag of nice quality Barbie clothes with shoes and all the shoes match so whatever little girl had these Barbie clothes took very very took very good care of them so I sent that off to my granddaughter with a little sofa and when she got the sofa she showed me the sofa and she said look this is in the TV show and she explained how the Barbies once they need they sit down and talk and have a conversation they'll go and they'll sit on that sofa and then talk about whatever it is they want to talk about and she was so excited to get that little purple sofa plastic which was cool and so anyway so anyway i sent those on but i did get those at this uh thrift store in Eureka. and i'll show you what i did that i'm going to sell so uh let's see i got this panel tin i think i got it there because i took all the tags off of everything so this is just a sophisticated panel tin uh, white shirt. I did see one of these, maybe one of these on eBay. So, you know, about $20. This might be from the early 90s. So this might be a, a vintage one. Uh, nice quality cotton shirt. And then I got this, just this denim oversized Club Z collection. Ladies blouse. It's a 2X, but I got it because it was a denim chambray. And then it had all these uh, dragonflies on it and it was a large size but you could wear it um, not that I wear my shirts like that anymore but I used to always wear my shirts tied up but you know you could still wear your shirts tied up and if you're young 
anyway, when I was young, <laughs> I used to always wear, you know, like shirts and over dresses and whatnot and tie them, usually over dresses, and then just tie them up like that. Um, yeah, always, I've always been into fashion ever since I played with my own Barbie dolls. <laughs> and then, um, so this, I don't know how much it was because I took the tag off. I think it was a couple of dollars. Yeah, I think the shirts were like two dollars three at the most and this outfit this is vintage was four dollars and they had it listed as is so this is from the 80s it has all this embroidery fringe on it it's a uh, rayon i believe it says r and m richards by karen kalong so it's just the jacket and the skirt and it's a size 16, I believe. It's been dry cleaned. And they said as is. I asked why it was as is. She said because she thinks there's spots on it. And I looked everywhere and did not see a single spot. So I have no idea why it as is. And then they had these because they're probably donated from the same person. So they thought these pants went with that outfit. Um, because I think they also had the dry cleaning tag on them. But these are a Norton McNaughton size 16. Um... They're a polyester rayon, just uh, white pants, so nice quality pants. Uh, so anyway, $4 for those three pieces. And then I got this hat, straw hat. It's a nice straw hat. And it, it is made in Peru. It's a sensil, and it's made in Peru, and it was a dollar. It has these little bins in it. I thought I could maybe straighten them out, steam them out. It says not to add water to the hat, but that's how the hat is shaped anyway, is steamed or they um, do it when it's wet and then shape it. So it would be one huge flat piece of braided stencil like, stencil like that grass and then um, shaped and dry it while she's there. So I got this cowgirl hat. It's called Cowboy Hardware. That was 50 cents. I thought, what cowgirl went like a pink, pink and brown hat? Who knows? Yahoo! Okay. 50 cents on that. It has some discoloration at the front there. But I like pink. It says, get a grip on the back. And and I got this leather handbag. This is the leather handbags. I think they were two dollars. So this is really, it's really cute. I love the gray and pink on that. And it's got some ink marks. Maybe I could get those out. It is hotter. That's that's the brand name. I don't know if you can see that. Hotter. But it's suede leather. Just a nice little handbag. And then I got this one, it has no label, but I love the shape of it. It's a round pink one. I mean, how cute is that? Let's see, how do you, you could do it this way? Oh, you could get, you could do it as a, <laughs> over the shoulder, but it zips. Okay, so the top zips, but there's no label in it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there is a label. Okay, got two dollars. So this, so these purses were two dollars, and the label is A and W, made in China. And I have, I looked it up, and I have no idea what that is. I could probably do a Google lens search. So there's a few little issues, a little scratch mark, some discoloration, but I love the shape, that round, and it's pink shape. Okay, so for their plushies. I got this Dino for a dollar. I think I see there's other Dinos. This is a 1980 Mighty Star Hanna-Barbera Dino. So there's a few other ones, quite a few on eBay. So this probably wouldn't sell for much. Maybe I'll wait to list it, but this one would. This one was $2 and it's a 1984 made in Korea novelty company um what we, <laughs> forgot what you call these little shorts with the suspenders anyway and a little hat uh up in the high country <laughs> norwegian i don't know swedish denmark i don't know one of those countries up there yodeling 
Yes. Sound of Music. And I had this bear. It was a dollar. Super, super soft. He is Wild Republic. And this is, they sell a lot of these in the national parks. So like up at Crater Lake National Park, up at the resort, they sell them. Probably Hood River. Um, they sell them up at the lodge up at Hood River. So these, and they're not cheap. So I'll have to see. Got a weighted bottom. So I got him, and this is the only one I could find like him. He is a 2001 Monsters, Inc. Pixar, but he's a CDA agent, but he's the only one I could find that's exactly like him with the two eyes and the way his pack is. So he might uh, praise him. And then I got this fabric for a dollar. It's just a panel. I love fabric. So it's like a quilting panel. Man, yeah, look at that tape off. The alphabet quilts. And that's what I'll list it as. So it would be like a baby quilt panel top. And then you just need the batting in the back, and then you would quilt all the little squares down. So they'd be little puffy little squares. So I've sold uh, quite a bit of children's fabric in my art fire shop. And I don't have all the fabric that I have, and I have quite a bit of it listed um, that I want to sell. Some I'm going to keep, some I'm selling. And then I got this for $2, just a vintage tablecloth. Pink. So just a pretty little vintage tablecloth. And I have another tablecloth, also vintage. This one was $4, and the label on this is called, Cal it was, it's Vat Dyed California Handprints. I don't know if you could see. Ah, I'm getting tangled up in the clothes on the floor. <laughs> Vat Dyed California, that's the label on that. Um, I looked it up. There's other ones of the with the label, not these this particular style. It has a blue tape down there that held it together. Can't remember how much they went for. So maybe thirty-five, forty, but not in this gorgeous brown. So very pretty for fall uh, tablecloth um, with the border print around it. It's, very, it's a huge tablecloth, but perfect for fall. Okay, so I'm going to end there, and then the next haul, I'm going to do my most recent Goodwill haul, and some of the items I've brought, some of my personal clothing that I used to wear a long time ago that I no longer wear, that I thought, well, I'll sell them. And a few things I've had in my storage forever that's kind of laying around here. Okay, so I hope you like that haul, a long time in the coming, and then I'll get another haul up. For you. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to get notifications of my hauls. Very few and far between, unless I get better at it. <laughs> and uh, hit the thumbs up or the like. Thumbs up, like. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.